Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Buckley and I'll be your instructor for this course. In this course, we're going to be creating tectonic plates in augmented reality. Let's have a look at what we'll be making. We're going to be using an image target which renders two tectonic plate models that we can interact with to create different plate boundaries. At the top left, we have the convergent boundary, where two plates move towards each other. And this will be done by simply dragging across the screen, like swiping across the screen towards the center on both plates. Then to the right of that, we have the divergent boundary. This is where the user will swipe away from both plates and that will cause the plates to move apart from each other. And down at the bottom, we have the transform boundary. This is when the user swipes parallel to each other, going in opposite directions, which causes the plates to grind along each other horizontally. Let's have a look at what we'll be learning in this course. First of all, we'll be learning how to use EasyAR in Unity. EasyAR is an augmented reality SDK which allows us to use image targets. These are little QR codes that you can print out that the app can identify. It can figure out its position, its rotation and its scale and can, and can then render models, particle effects or whatever you want on top. In our case, we're going to be rendering these two tectonic plates as well as a little lava image. One of the largest parts of this project is going to be the animations. As you can see, each of these different type of boundaries have specific animations at play even some that have particle effects playing along with them. These animations will then be combined with, the U with Unity's timeline. The timeline is a tool that allows you to pair animations up with each other, as well as various other things like enabling and disabling objects and calling functions and scripts. This is a very versatile tool that is mainly used to make cutscenes and different scripted segments in games. For us to also be able to drag and move the tectonic plates, we'll be creating a touch and drag manager. This will detect touches on the plates and then figure out direction that the player drags in to calculate then which direction to move the plate. Zenva is an online learning academy with 350,000 students. We feature a wide range of courses for those people who are just starting out or for those people who just want to learn something new. The course is also very versatile. You can learn in many different ways. If you just want to view the course and soak up the information that way, that's fine. You can also follow along the course with the included project files. Alright, with that done, let's get started on making our project.